the CoverGirl Clean Fresh First Impressions Try On. And before we get into it, make sure to like the video if you want to see more videos like these and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel if you want to see five videos a week, Monday through Friday, all on beauty related. I think it like it, it was released like a year ago. It just came out in the shelves. I didn't really see it anywhere. Got this one because my friend actually gave it to me. So I wanted to try it out and I will try out with other products and with the cream blush that came with it. It is 30 milliliters or one fluid ounces, which is pretty you know, average for a foundation. This is around $10.99, $11.99. Um, it really depends on the website that you're checking it. It is a skin milk nourishing foundation with coconut milk and aloe extract. It's supposed to blur imperfection, even out skin tone, sheer buildable coverage, and instant all the hydration. It is completely liquid. I already swatched it. I looked at it. It might be a little bit light for me, maybe. I don't know if it's non-comedogenic, but we'll see. Um, it's not recommended to do that. I still do it because if I oops, <gasps> I put way too much Oh my god, I feel like the liquid consistency. It reminds me of the rare beauty liquid foundation But this one actually feels better than the rare beauty one I like that It's hydrating since I have very dry skin and I feel it that it's hydrating You know some people even if they have acne imperfections They just want to even out the skin tone a little bit already. I like what I see it's sheer, but as you can see, it covered not a lot, but it did cover well. I feel with a brush, I don't like it as much because I feel like it leaves brush strokes. Already with a sponge, dry sponge, it looks better. But if your sponge is dry, it kind of removes weird stuff on the foundation. Like, it's like so crunchy. Anyways, I don't know if I can add another layer. Maybe I should use all with the sponge. Maybe I should go wet the sponge and then reapply another layer on top of it because it's supposed to be buildable coverage and I want to know if it's actually buildable or if it's just going to become messy because I feel like now it is truly in my skin. Like it looks like I have nothing. It's flawless. You can still see some imperfections. So I don't know if I can cover everything up or it's just gonna look weird. Ooh, we're back. You know what? I was looking at the other mirror in natural lighting and I reviewed the Kosas lip, uh, not lip, what am I saying? Uh, the Kosas oil foundation. It reminds me of that, but this is like one fifth of the price because the Kosas oil foundation is like 50 something dollars and this one is only $11. So that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Let me just apply another layer. Oh, geez. <gasps> oh, no. Okay, so be careful when you apply it. Look, it's going to drool down my face. So you see how liquid this is? Yeah. One thin layer was really nice. So I don't know if this is going to look good now that I put a lot of it. I bring it under my eyes as well. So with this second kind of thick layer, actually, it looks it looks really, really good. It looks absolutely amazing. Um, It looks very natural. It doesn't look like have anything on my skin when you look up close. It's very, very pretty, which I love. Um, and when I applied the only one layer of the foundation and I applied after that a dry sponge, I felt like I didn't need to set the foundation by itself. It really felt like it settled into my skin. Not in a bad way, in a really, really good way. Uh, but this one, now with the second layer, I feel like I would have to set my face it looks very very dewy and i just scratched my nose and as you can see it completely removed the foundation i can see that when i scratch it did kind of like a weird thing there so it does settle in the skin like i don't know how to say it but like you know when you have dr uh, dry skin and then you scratch and then it creates kind of like a weird dry thingy well that's what the foundation did when i scratch it when the under layer was actually dry. Right, so I applied a little bit of concealer and as I can say, it just looks really beautiful with a other products. I didn't apply powder yet, but we'll do that later because I want to apply the blush first. Go into the Clean Fresh Cream Blush in the shade 370 Butterflies. Um, I swatched it and I actually really liked the fact that it's shimmery. It's a shimmery blush. There's kind of like a fresh scent on this one. Um, and this one is the same price around as a foundation. So $10.99. So I don't know if I put too much. We'll see. And that looks really dark when I apply it. You can always reapply foundation on top. 
but as you can see it goes kind of sheer pretty quickly this one is really kind of sticky it's really really sticky you use your fingers i feel like some places it's like the blush skips entirely skips there's like some patches there um over here it doesn't blend properly if you don't blend it quick enough it settles very easily but then when you want to blend it more it doesn't blend as well so mm. cream blushes sometimes can be tricky and this one is a definitely not my favorite kind of looks like a patch on my skin with the shimmer it doesn't look good i don't know tell me down below if you think it looks good i'm gonna come up close a little bit later to show you everything but i just don't feel like this is a good blush i don't like it i like the foundation so far i don't like the blush <sighs> okay i have something to say about this blush uh the shimmer is does not actually look good so it looks when you when i turn a little bit there's some shimmers which is kind of golden shimmers and it looks like I have a patch of nothing on my skin which I really don't like so I'm gonna try to cover a bit I feel like this blush you would need to apply it before the foundation like that was a mistake on my part so mm, mm, I don't know I I think this is not good <laughs> um yeah I don't like it nope this is a no for me the foundation though it's good don't apply this blush without a powder blush on top because if you do it's not gonna look good it's not gonna look good i'll finish my face and then i'll show you the up close of what it looks like okay so after applying everything my face is done there's a few things that i need to say about this foundation so when you apply it with no powder no nothing it does blur the skin but then when you look up close with everything on it i don't feel like it blurs that much like it's supposed to it evens out skin tone that is absolutely true and it is sheer buildable coverage yes it is because i can still see a little bit of acne peeking through I have some foundations that are marked as full coverage and I can still see my acne peeking through and this is doing like a much better job at hiding it than some full coverage foundation. So I think that is truly good there. Um, instant hydration, it is true. All day, I don't know. I'm gonna have to wear it throughout the day to see that. Um, other than that, I feel like my forehead looks really good where there's nothing <laughs> you know with the powder and everything but when you ar get around texture when you put some highlight on top it doesn't look as good anymore so i feel like this foundation is really good for the price and for how it feels on the skin i feel like it's amazing there's it's vegan natural ingredients and it i feel like i would recommend this foundation a lot since of the price how it feels and if you have to reapply throughout the day if you have to touch up throughout the day i feel like it is totally normal it's like that with like literally every single foundation on the market um other than that even with a little bit of powder it is sticky but when i do this with my finger it doesn't really transfer so that's a good thing even though it's sticky a little bit it doesn't really stick so if you don't like sticky feelings that wouldn't be for you the cream blush um um <laughs> uh okay so what i have to say the color is nice the only thing i don't like about it like i said earlier is the shimmer that is within the blush i feel like it's really not good it doesn't look good it looks like a patch of foundation it's just I feel like a patch of blush has gone away. I don't like the blush. I don't like it. It's not good. It doesn't look good. You have to put something else very pigmented on top of it. So it just looks better. So to me, it's a no-no. For $10.99, I would expect it to work way better than what it did. So I don't recommend this one. I didn't have the concealer. I didn't have the the powder but if you want me to review the rest of the line please make sure to tell me down below i would love to know if you want to see a review on that oh another thing i forgot to mention about the foundation is i brought it all the way under the eyes and even with my trick about concealer not creasing it's still creasing so and it doesn't look good. It doesn't look good under the eyes. So make sure to not bring it all the way under the eyes. 
I feel like it would look better if I didn't set it. Um, it would look a hundred times better. So if you are looking at this for an overall all over the face, it would work. Just make sure to find a powder that will look absolutely amazing on top of it. Um, I feel like the MAC Waterweight Press Powder looks good. It is on the expensive side though. So it's finding a powder at the drugstore. I didn't find any yet that looked good, but if I find one that matches literally all foundation, I will definitely tell you guys. Uh, but for now, this is my review of the CoverGirl Clean, is it? Yeah, clean, fresh um, skin milk foundation in the shade 530 Fair Light. By the up close, I don't know if you guys are blown away, but I kind of am. Even on the camera, it looks amazing. And that highlighter though, it is super nice. Um, it is the e.l.f. highlighter. So if you were wondering which one it is, it is the e.l.f. one. And this one <laughs> is just a dollar or like $3. But when it was on sale, it was a dollar. So it looks, it looks really good. I highly recommend it. I feel like it still looks really nice. And I'm probably gonna have to, as you know, blood up during the day and other stuff like this. But it looks, it feels hydrating. It looks hydrating. It is dewy like it's supposed to. And it just looks good, except for under the eyes. And if you have deep creases, it's gonna crease. So if you have a lot of creases any, everywhere, if you have a lot of deep lines, fine lines, it might kind of crease there. That's what it is. So um, that is my review on the Clean Fresh trying out. It's more like trying out, not a full on review, but I had really a lot of fun trying this product. I feel like it's different. You know, we have to go more into the drugstore types of products. I know I love e.l.f. I know I love NYX. Um, I, and I wanted to go more into the other brands as well. So if you guys want me to review anything from the drugstore, please make sure to tell me down below. Um, and if you like this try on first impressions type of video, make sure to like the video and to consider subscribing to my YouTube channel if you want to see five videos a week, Monday through Friday, all on beauty related. So thank you so much again for watching. I really, really love you beauties and I will definitely Definitely see you in the next one. Bye beauties.